The Zortrax Inventure is far from a budget printer. Today, we're going to be reviewing the pros and cons of the Inventure and analyzing its value in 2021. The first pro is the build quality of the Zortrax Inventure, which surpasses any other printer we have ever gotten our hands on. It is made of CNC metal and is extremely sturdy. The build screams quality and it was something that immediately captivated our attention. The dual hot end is extremely high quality and has a long well defined melt zone. There is a brush in the back of the printer with a waste container that collects any stringing or residue off the nozzle before, during and after the print. This results in much cleaner prints than is normally possible with a dual extrusion machine. There is a nice tinted glass cover on the door which is strongly built and has a magnetic lock for safety. The whole print chamber has lights and this allows you to see what you are printing as well as gives the printer a very nice appearance. The top of the machine is enclosed and upon opening the hatch you can see that the top of the hot end is separated from the bottom using a mesh that keeps all of the heat from the chamber inside creating a much more advanced enclosure system that printers such as the Flashforge Creator Pro 2 do not have. Lastly, the build plate design of the Inventure is unique. The build plate itself is made of ABS and has a raft locking system that prevents prints from ever falling off the bed. After thousands of print hours, we have yet to have any sort of issue with under adhesion. Due to its spectacular build quality, the Zortrax Inventure has an insane success rate. The only failure we have ever had with the Inventure was due to our spool getting tangled or switching from nylon or TPU to PLA without purging for enough time causing a clog. The Zortrax Inventure is meant to be a print and walk away solution for advanced filaments such as nylon, Z glass, Z ABS, hips and much more. Additionally, this printer is very safe. It has a HEPA filter for cleaning out 99% of contaminants and it has an excellent electronics system. Unlike the BQB1, this printer won't catch on fire. The second pro of the Zortrax Inventure is the dual extrusion. The dual extrusion on the Zortrax Inventure allows for the printing of complex forms. The printer is extremely accurate with its movements and complex forms that cannot be printed on other dual extrusion machines are possible. The Zortrax Inventure prints seamlessly in a variety of super advanced materials and then using hot water or the optional DSS station all of the support can be dissolved, leaving you with complex parts that have no residue. The third pro of the Zortrax Inventure is that although it does not have a heated build plate, it has a heated chamber that heats up to 110 degrees Celsius. By heating the entire chamber rather than just the bed, the Inventure allows for very little shrinkage of advanced materials such as ABS and nylon. It also allows for extremely dimensionally accurate prints in PLA and PETG which also have much smaller and often overlooked shrinkage rates. Simply put, you can print 1000 of the same piece on the Inventure and they will all come back identical every time. I'm sure those of you watching have tried making threading parts on standard FTM printers such as the Ender 3 and have seen that sometimes the threading is tighter or looser between the parts for no apparent reason. With the Inventure, consistency is key and you will get the same result every single time. Now, the Zortrax Inventure also does have a couple very minor cons. So the first con is that the Zortrax Inventure does not have Wi-Fi connectivity, which is now a standard for printers of its price point. This is not the end of the world, but it would definitely be nicer if it was included, especially because all the other Zortrax devices can be connected to Wi-Fi and managed all together in Z Suite. The second con of the Zortrax Inventure is the lack of on-screen controls. You cannot microstep, change temperatures, or change flow during a print, which is now standard among many devices. Again, this is not a huge deal, and definitely it's not a, as big of a deal as it is with normal printers, because the Zortrax Inventure is very far from finicky and can give you perfect prints without much optimization, but it would be nice to have. So our conclusion on the Zortrax Inventure is that, especially now, when it is on sale, it is the best 3D printer you can get for the price as long as the build area is not too much of a concern as this is a small printer. The print quality is very close to flawless and the ease of use is insane and the build plate technology that allows for consistent prints with a ridiculously high success rate is very nice to have. With this printer, Zortrax kept the main thing the main thing and put all of its resources in creating a 3D printer that just works 
even when exposed to complex filaments that most machines need endless tinkering with to get working. If you are in Canada and want to purchase this device, you can do so from the link in my bio. The first 10 people can use the code SHOP3BA and get 10% off their order, which can leave you some budget for Zortex's fun filaments such as Z-Glass. As always, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed our review and we hope to see you again next time.